Jamal Charlo states that he has no real reason to move up to 160. So he says he don't really know what the future holds, but he's saying he don't see himself going nowhere from 154. He says he can make the weight with no problem. But there's a few issues I have with that. Got Jamal at 160. With Jamal Charlo, I would say, I would call it purgatory. That's where he is right now. You know, when a boxer doesn't know where the hell he's going to be fighting at, he wants to be at one division, but he's at one and another one, but he's not sure he wants to stay where he at. That's where Jamal Charlo is. He's at 160, but he wants to really, he claims he wants to be at 168, but officially he's still at 160 because he hasn't fought at 168 yet. Go figure. So, my thing is this. If Jamel Charlo doesn't want to move up, is it because his brother is at 160? He, he mentioned his brother being at 160. Or is it because he just content with fighting smaller dudes? Is it that? I mean, he's already cleaned out the vision almost. He's, he's already cleaned it out. He has all the belts. I feel different about that. Because, to be honest, bro, he, he don't want to go to 160, but he want to stay at 154. 154 got some people up there I would love to see him fight. So, in, in a sense... That's, you know, Jamel is really, to me, he's doing what I want him to do in a sense. Because he's pretty much, that's like him saying he's waiting for Terrence Crawford to get up there. And then you got the, the fight with, uh, he's about to fight Tim Zhu. But he got also that, that monster up there, Sebastian Fundora. I don't really see anybody else at 154 that can really see Jamel like that, man. Besides Fundora and I don't even think Tim Zhu has a chance. You know what I'm saying? He probably do. He probably could cr crack Jamel with something and hurt him. But Jamel got a fucking chin. You know, I, I say that about Jamel, bro. He got a motherfucking beard, bro. It's going to take somebody with some special kind of power to really hurt Jamel Charlo, man. It is. Uh, Tim Zhu got power, but we don't know if, if he got that kind of power. Sebastian Fedora got power. Uh, those are probably the only two dudes right now that can hurt Jamel Charlo is Tim Zhu and Sebastian Fedora. I don't know if anybody else at 154 can really put the pain on Jamel like that, man. Not yet, at least. So Terrence Crawford will probably be the only other one if he get up there. He probably can hurt. He can hurt Jamel. So Jamel ain't leaving the division. Means he's planning on staying there. Hurting and defending his titles. He he pretty much telling me, yo, bro, I'm gonna stay here until somebody can take these straps. That's how I'm looking at it. Okay, cool, brother. There's a guy that wants to come up there, and his name is Terrence Bud Crawford. So by you not leaving the division, brother, that makes it even better for Bud. So you just put that out there that you ain't leaving, Bud, like, okay, good. I'm going to see you. You can't run from me when I get up there. And I I don't know, man. Jamel don't give off those vibes like a, a ducker. I'm going to be real with y'all. He don't really give off them duck vibes, but he always seems very irritated when it comes to Terrence Crawford. Like, when you bring up Bud, he get really agitated. Now, that could mean two things. Either he's agitated, meaning he he's trying to be passive. Like, yo, I don't want to fight this dude. Because I know I can't give him that business Or B He's agitated like a like a, You know like a lion In a cage or something like that You teasing him You know you, you fucking with him And you poking at him He and, and he gets in there And he really goes in on Terrence Crawford If they fight Maybe that's the kind of agitated that he is or, I don't know But he seems very bothered When you bring up Terrence Crawford man He He's, he's always triggered So we got it We got to see but he said it himself, he is not leaving 154. Let me know what y'all think. <laughs> this is Rebel Life Boxing. I'll catch y'all later.